Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. Well, as we inch closer to the start of June, we're dealing with some pretty unseasonable temperatures. It's 42 right now in Baraboo, 46 in Madison, 46 also in Mineral Point. Not many of us are really in those low 50s. Only a couple, Janesville uh, as well as Fond du Lac, they're at 50. So certainly it is cooler out there. Then you add on top of that easterly winds, the rain cooled air, and uh, the fact that we have cloud cover. It's about 20 to 30 degrees cooler than the same time yesterday and uh, we have a bit of a wind chill to say the least as well nearing the freezing mark is what it feels like in bear boo and again we are just five days away from the official start of june it feels like it's 39 in middleton madison lone rock uh, mineral point as well so Please bundle up today. Not only that, but also carry that umbrella as well. We've got some rain moving on through. This is very beneficial rain. We're noticing that that dry pocket off towards Cuba City is being filled in with more moisture. That is some great news. This is all part of a low pressure system coming in off of the Rockies, bringing severe weather to our south, actually bringing some uh, freezing conditions well off to our north, but we're going to capitalize on the rain right now. We're going to watch as the system continues to track its way further south and eastward, and by the time things are all said and done, which is going to be sometime Friday when those showers finally wrap up, an additional half an inch to maybe an inch and a half, especially the farther north, uh, could be picked up, which again is some great news. We're continuing to see abnormally dry, moderate, and even severe drought conditions conditions persist across Wisconsin. So we will take this rain, albeit it is cold out there, but it could be worse. We could be dealing, I guess, with that severe weather threat. So we're going to watch as that rain continues to really be its heaviest between now and I would say about the uh, evening commute. And then overnight, we'll watch as the heaviest is off to our east. Scattered showers will continue overnight as the center of the low begins to pass to our south. And as it does, it's going to pull with it down uh, that cooler air that's been off to our north. So some of our northern counties kind of looking at June you know, in Adams northwards, they could be seeing some flakes mixing in with some of those early morning rain showers. It's not going to stick by any means, and it will most likely melt as soon as it hits the ground, but it just shows how strong the slow is and where that cooler air is just sitting, which is just off to our north. Those light showers wrap up by the time we go into the afternoon hours on Friday. Drier air moves in as we kick off your holiday weekend when we are expected to stay dry primarily throughout the rest of your Memorial Day weekend, which again is some great news. Here's a look at the current drought conditions. This was updated today from data that uh, was uh, cut off by Tuesday. So whatever happened Wednesday, is not included in this, but you can see we made some improvements. They were little on our abnormally dry percentage as well as our moderate drought percentage. Still that severe drought percentage at about 0.2% uh, remains in Kenosha County. So the rain this uh, today, tomorrow will certainly help in our drought conditions when we look at it again next Thursday. Carry the umbrella. Just know that while it is going to put a damper on your day plans today, we are not going to see that rain throughout the rest of your weekend, and it is going to be putting moisture back into the ground, which in turn will help put moisture back into the air. It's all a big cycle, which I've only got 10 seconds left. I don't have plenty of time to talk about that, but we are back in the 70s, so much warmer by the time we go into your Sunday and then a beautiful Monday there for your actual Memorial Day. I was going to say, moral of the story, it's going to be nice this weekend. <laughs> yes. Just, just get over the rain. <laughs> don't look at it yeah. and then enjoy the weekend. All right, please, thank you.